hello. Okay, well, as I talked about back in chapter two, that not too many people have seen because it probably came out in the wrong season to talk about more autumn clothes, I guess, uh, recorded back in the spring. Um, the whole dark academia thing was, you know, probably ebbing then and probably w ramping up again now too. Now that school's back in and the holidays are still a little bit off and the autumn time, I'm in California, so here the seasons just refuse to change. It's still, you know, warm. Um, this video, not focusing on what's blatantly obvious, their school uniform, because obviously if you want to dress like a preppy school uniform person, that's really easy to do that almost can be considered a capsule wardrobe but in the film uh as i like i said i touched on but i don't know that i co totally went into it uh each of the characters had kind of their after hours clothes and i don't know that they were all perfectly historically accurate um I, I, so i'm kind of be showing stuff that like maybe should have been or definitely maybe less that definitely shouldn't have been and then stuff that kind of was i guess some of that is probably costume designer idiosyncrasies or preferences some of it is probably cinematographer preferences like in the 80s like one of the things was a lot of them didn't like to shoot a lot of bold, bright colors that was very difficult to light and that kind of thing. And this is supposed to be the fifties, you know, a more kind of throwback time and all that supposedly entails. And it's before the sixties. So we don't have that NASA white short sleeve shirt thing, but it's also the East coast in autumn. So we're not seeing any short sleeves at all. Um, and we are seeing flannel shirts but not necessarily sports shirts which is again kind of a weird thing because they're supposed to be preppy guys so they're trying to stay warm maybe but then your school uniform has a sweater and then later you're not wearing the sweater so you can't be that cold and that <laughs> and then in other scenes they are wearing sweaters when they're being casual and so you're seeing Knox wear a shirt kind of similar to this at one point, and I think that's the most bold outfit we see kind of of the preppy kids. Um, there's a part where they go, he goes to a party at the house, and the townies or the, the public school kids are, you know, kind of dressed more in their, their sports jerseys or whatever. Um, well, jackets, I should say, Letterman's jackets. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it's it's mostly kind of, you know, does, you know, does stuff like this exist in the 50s? Yes. Again, another plaid, but this is not a flannel shirt, a lighter weave. But Mr. Cameron, there's a, like the scene where Knox is wearing a shirt and it, you can't quite tell if it's a plaid sport shirt or a plaid flannel shirt, but it seems like a flannel shirt. And he has the, the sweater kind of tied around his neck. This one has cables and that one didn't have cables, but same basic idea. And um, and so it has a real nice pop of color. I'm not going to tie that around my neck right now. It's 80 degrees. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, so he has kind of the most bold outfit. And of course, he's just wearing that with a pair of khaki trousers. If you don't know what khaki looks like, these aren't true khaki pants. These are more of a tan denim. But definitely this color of khaki, he's not wearing like a more of British khaki, which has kind of a yellowy, more yellow tint to it. Uh, so let's just get that out of the way. And again, none of them is wearing anything that's kind of meant to kind of blend with khaki. We don't see anything like that. And here's a pair of dockers with pleats, which is a more business casual texture. I think they were wearing unpleated uh chinos neither denim nor that kind of more professional grade kind of i don't know it's kind of debatable we don't really get a close-up you know that and another thing we don't see them wear 
for some reason, very, maybe there's a scene or two. I don't remember. I mean, when they're rowing, I think they're wearing the sweaters, but we're not seeing them wearing rugby shirts or polo shirts, which of course would be here, you know, the contrasting collar, which would be a total back East thing for that time period, etc. We're not seeing them wear Tattersalls or mini checks, very country pattern stuff. This, when I show the shirt in a minute, this is the kind of thing I would expect to see Mr. Cameron wearing more, especially with a sweater vest, because later in the film, there's a scene where he's wearing a red flannel shirt similar to this, which I, unless he's at a cabin in a lake at summer camp or something, this is a little too rustic, I would think, for Mr. Cameron, even if he's trying to stay warm. So I, I would see Mr. Cameron wearing more like not necessarily the school color vest, maybe not even this something this bold. I think the school color vest was this color vest. Uh, or maybe it was gray with, or I don't remember exactly right now because it's been a year since I watched the film. But like I could see Mr. Cameron wearing, you know, Maybe, maybe some kind of autumny. This is a sweater vest with a tattersall, or here's a tattersall that doesn't match it quite as well. You know, I could see him wearing something kind of more like that. Whereas um, most of them, I wouldn't. This is a sport shirt, not a flannel shirt, but it's very robust. Again, kind of a more of a towny thing. I would expect to see because of the class distinction, Mr. Perry or Neil wearing different clothes from the rest of them when he's off duty maybe he would be wearing the red flannel shirt because his parents don't have as much money same as likewise both he and todd are shown wearing chuck taylor converse right and i think todd had the white ones and neil had the black high tops uh i could see neil maybe wearing the sneakers but todd being wealthier would probably be wearing penny loafers because we see even in the 60s, the early 60s, the Beach Boys all wearing penny loafer leather shoes and they're supposedly surf bums, but for some reason they're they're not wearing sneakers in, in the the photos. They're wearing leather leather shoes, even casually. So the idea that a bunch of prep school guys in the 50s are still wearing children's sneakers. Eh, you know, again, it could be historically accurate or it could just be a lazy costume designer. I'm not really sure. We didn't see anybody really wearing any blue plaid. I brought in like a couple of examples of blue plaid and another one that goes good with a khaki, that kind of thing. This one a little more, again, kind of bold for what they're wearing. Uh, where something like this, on the other hand, uh, this is only a canvas one, but I, there are plenty of photos of Jack Kerouac wearing a very similar design to this in a in a wool a wool shirt, I believe. And so similarly, you know, autumny. This on the other, if you put Mr. Cameron in this, I would believe it a little more than Mr. Cameron in, like I said, kind of the lumberjack colors. Um, and whereas this, I would say maybe a little too busy I, again i could maybe see neil wearing this not not necessarily mr cameron i could see mr cameron wearing something more refined like a hound's tooth or i didn't bring one but um even a glen check to show off a little bit more of his you know i don't know how old money mr cameron is supposed to be but again just more tattersalls here's some green ones and here's lips not quite a Glen check, but this being more of the type of cloth, the Oxford type of cloth, uh, very blatantly, here you go, you know, this kind of, again, I don't know if this, this is slightly maybe more 60s, because it actually is yellow and blue, kind of a powder blue. But the white and gray or the white and blue pinstripe of the Oxford shirts, you know, with the button down casual collars, but still maybe even with a tie after hours. <clears throat> or similarly, another kind of window pane. I could, like I said, I could really see Mr. Cameron trying to look still more professional than the other guys when they're being casual. 
and not really wearing flannel. Whereas Charlie Dalton would never be caught dead in this. It's way too casual. But in the after hours, he's only shown in a white t-shirt or a brown shaker sweater, which this is a cotton one. I can't tell if his is cotton or wool. Um, but similar to Knox, they all basically have a similar shaker sweater to this. Neil has a green one and Todd has a blue one. I don't have a green one handy, but you can see the texture there. So this is almost, you know, basically what Todd was wearing. Again, Todd... I always felt like Todd should have been wearing the green one and Neil should have been wearing the blue one, but I didn't, you know... <laughs> I didn't make the movie. Something like this, maybe. This is kind of more refined. Could Cameron pull this off? Maybe. And, of course, this one very similar to the one Knox is wearing. And then in pants, we never see them wearing anything kind of bold. Uh, or even... I don't remember if their school uniform is this color or this color. It was a blue blazer and gray pants but i don't remember if it was more charcoal or more just gray and of course we don't see them wearing any corduroy but all of this would be definitely east coast preppy rust colored of course and almost none of them we see wearing blue except for their blazers it's all very more earth tones um so yeah, I guess that's kind of, I didn't go into it. I still have to make a video about neckties and I still have to, I made a veteran videos about sweaters and things already. So I think that should cover it unless anybody has any questions.